Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can append the data using the Power Query. So we will going to invoke Power Query using the transform data option that we have within Power BI and then do the appending of query and the scenario what I have for you is over here. So we have the uh, the data set let's say it is coming by each region like central region, east region, south region and west region and we want to append one below the another because each follows the same data structure it has the same information the only differentiation is from different region you know the sales data is coming so if you have a similar type of scenario let's say data is coming on a daily basis data is coming from multiple departments but in the end it has the column same column structure then you can use this okay and uh, before that i show you just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then this link of this power uh, this google sheet is present in the description what it has is the all of my power bi videos the title is present in column a and uh, in column b what you have is basically the youtube video link that way searching of the video becomes really easy for you and you can take advantage of all my 250 plus videos that I have posted online right so other than that the data set folder link is usually what I give which has a lot many data set in power bi I am using this data set what I have simply done is I have created four data sets out of it one for each region so you will find the name of the region in this data set and create four data set like I have done it over here to follow along with this example right so coming back to the power bi let's trans in invoke the uh, or open up the power query by clicking on transform data and then we have in the new source we have excel workbook so we are having this central as a workbook so we will basically bring that first and then each of the table one by one right so that's usually how you bring the data so you have central you click ok uh, after that I will bring one more to show you the example let's just wait new source excel workbook you have east and uh, I'll just wait so central east right and I'll bring let's say one more workbook that way at least I have three to play around with okay so let me just wait for that dialog box to come which will help me to bring the data yeah south open and then I need to choose the sheet over there come on okay sheet and click ok so now I have central sheet one and then there will be uh, another sheet where I will have the third region now I can go to one of the two option I can have the append queries or append query as new so what append query does is whatever I have selected it will append the sheet one and central after I provided that input or if I want altogether new that means I don't want to touch any of these queries but I want to create altogether new we can do that so first I'll start with the append queries so sheet 1 and central will append into sheet 1 2 so you have two tables or three or more tables right if you have two tables select another table let's say we just want to merge sheet 1 with this sheet 1 so i will just select sheet 1 and click ok so it will merge the sheet 1 with this another sheet right but if i have more tables three or more tables so what we can do is we have sheet 1 this is one I've selected this will I will select and add it this will basically add all the three sheets and we'll click OK so now it will do the processing and uh, it has appended the query as you can see over here right and then you can go and check using the uh, column which is the region column so in the region column we have uh, the list is incomplete so looks like we may need to run click on close and apply and then we can do that but that's basically how you will go ahead and do this uh, or let me I, let me show you how you can save information 
So that way it will become. So in sheet one, so remember we don't have to take sheet one, this one or central, but we have to take the value from sheet one where we have appended the data. And this will take a little bit of time because of the data that it is loading. So that's how we can double check by taking it into a front end. And then after that, I can show you another option, which is uh, appending the query or appending the data set as a new data set. So we'll wait to at least upload to uh, get this coded. Okay, so now it has done. What I'll do is select this in the sheet one, two. I will select the region. Where is that? Region is here. And in that, I should get all the three regions information. Yep, central, east, and south, right? So that is what I wanted to show you. Also, let me go back. So here, I will show you just one other option. So I will select the sheet one, and this is the step we applied, right? So we will undo that. And now what I'll do is I will say append queries as new and in the append query as new, you will see that three or more table sheet one is already there. So we'll select this sheet. We will select this sheet. It's very easy interface and you can click OK. So this is a new query that is being created and you can say uh, combined data and then simply click and close and apply and your steps are done. So that is what I wanted to show you how you can go ahead and uh, append the queries, right, and uh, get the desired output. So with that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.